always say we can't reinvent the wheel. I just wanted to make a beautiful guitar with the help of Court, of course. And, you know, we already have the Lux steel string guitar. And so I thought, why don't we make a, a nylon version of the guitar or something similar to the, the Lux to keep the Lux, the Frank Gambale Lux model moving forward. And so I gave them all my requirements. I wanted to have a natural top and I wanted it also to have a fairly narrow neck for a classical guitar, you know. I don't want to stretch too far. Some of the classical necks for my playing is just too wide, so I wanted to stay a little narrower. So this feels more comfortable. And, you know, I got to design the aesthetic of the guitar, which I love. I've never seen this done before, where with some pearl, some beautiful detail down here. Because I'm always looking down at the guitar, so I want to see beautiful stuff. And this inlay, you know, I'm kind of into the deco, art deco thing at the moment, and I wanted to keep going with that art deco theme for the inlays, an unusual inlay. Some people say, oh, isn't it too complicated? You get confused as to where you are, but not really, you know, because when you're playing it, you don't actually see the inlays that much. You just see the dots on the side. So I'm always referring to the dots. And of course, I've kept my three little pieces of bling on the top. I love that. No, no guitar that I know of has bling on it like that. And my logo. And we also went with all solid woods too this time to keep the quality high and the resonance of the instrument high. It's the same back and sides. Australian Blackwood, it's called. Beautiful, beautiful guitar. I'm very, very happy with the way it sounds. I got some effects on, but I love... I love the way it sounds. Lovely sounding guitar and its playability is great. So that's all you can ever expect from a guitar as long as the quality is high, beautiful ebony fretboard, quality materials and constructed beautifully. This is flawless. I can't I can't fault this guitar in any way. <laughs> Thank you. 